Hi guys, it's Miyaki here. Uh, today we're going to do a tutorial, a quick tutorial on how to have animations automatically play in your room or on furniture in the client. So this is assuming that you've already made your animations, you already have your room or furniture built with all the nodes in place, and you want them to play automatically um, as opposed to using a trigger word. So this is something that I made earlier today, some uh, some presents. Uh, if you want to watch me make them, I did live stream it on Twitch. It's about three and a half hours long, so if you have some free time, or you can skip through, because it's not like I sat there the whole time. But some presents I made, and uh, there's the skeleton for that, and the mesh. And then when you click on the presents, oops, oops, she bends down and picks them up automatically. Now to get her to move the, both the presence and herself you need to have two separate animation um, triggers here. And the first one is for the avatar and um, in order to have her move automatically when you click on the node you have to make sure you put the word stance before the name of the node. So uh, it's very important that when you are building your skeletal structure that you name the nodes appropriately. Um, sitting will obviously trigger sitting animations. Standing will auto, um, trigger standing animations. Whatever the default animation is for the avatar, well, it'll run those animations. Uh, and if you want custom animations, then you need to use a unique node name. So for this particular product, I named the node Floor Presence because they're presence on the floor. Uh, it's also very important that you capitalize the very first letter of the name of your node. So the F here is capitalized in Floor Presence. Very important. So again, to get the avatar to automatically animate is you need to put stance dot your node name. So, and right here is where I put the name of the avatar action, which is floor presence. Um, here I have it looped, zero is, uh, means loop indefinitely, and then I have it loop the last 10 frames of the animation consistently so she doesn't constantly pick up the presence. Um, it's an only, only a 90 frame animation, so from 80 to 90 it just loops over and over and uh, she doesn't move. Stand still. Um, if you want her not to look around, you can disable the gaze and she'll just make sure you update that. And she'll stare blankly at the in the air. Which is fine if you want to add um, facial animations with the eyes and looking, whatever. So but I like to keep the disabled gaze off. Alright, so that is how you avatar um, animate the avatar. In order to animate furniture, in this case the uh, presents that I skinned to their own node, and I named that little node something, uh, floor presents, I named everything floor presents on this one. <clears throat> you have to have a new, um, a new slot here, and you name it the exact same thing, stance dot, whatever the node name is, floor presents, dash seat 01. Um, that is only if it is the first seat, because when you build your your room or your furniture, there's going to be multiple seats. It could be seat of one, seat of two, you have to I think up to 99, might be more now. But you have to make sure you cor correctly name the node and the seat number, otherwise they won't sync up. So if I, let's see, I can change this, if I change this to just a trigger. Let's see what happens instead of putting the stance in front of it. Change it. So now it's just a triggered action. The presence act funny. <laughs> Since this is a furniture product, it's going to affect 
the furniture only. That's why the furniture moves and not the avatar. If this was an avatar um, product, avatar animation, whatever, then the trigger would affect the avatar. But since this is a furniture product that I had derived from, then it's going to affect the furniture, even though it's not correct. So you have to put this as a trigger. And the presents move properly. So yes, if you want part of the furniture to move or whatever you're building, <clears throat> If you don't put stance in front of it, it has to be tr it'll, it'll be triggered by whatever trigger. Otherwise, it won't work unless you put it on the node. No. Let's see what happens if I remove the C01. <clears throat> It affects the avatar <clears throat> and then she tries some new yoga poses see in this case every time you click on the um, the node the floor presence node it switches up between activating the avatar animation that I built for the avatar and activating the animation I built for the furniture so that's why it screws her up. <clears throat> there you go. And of course, when you are exporting your um, animation, your furniture animation, and your avatar animation from your room or furniture um, in 3D Studio Max. You have to export them separately, um, unless you use the FBX exporter, which I have not used, so maybe that would work better. But anyway, I hope this helps you guys out. Um, any questions, go ahead, comment, leave me a message. Um, peace out.